Chat, here we go. It's first killer versus Yan. A rematch of a 1v1 that happened in the 1v1 World Cup. If you weren't able to check out the 1v1 World Cup, I would recommend checking out some of the matches from Johnny's stream. But we're going to see if we get the same result. The last time these guys played, it went 3-1 in the best of five in favor of Yan. This time it's going to be best of seven. $200 on the line between these two. And they've been playing a lot of 1v1 since then. Actually, in preparation for today's match, I saw that Yan got rank one. I forgot to mention it before we got started into the match, but I looked at the 1v1 leaderboard, and Yan took over from Zen. Cosmic held on to it a lot. He's also a US East, or not a US West player, but a US and NA player. Zen took it back over by at least half a point or so. And now Yan takes it before the start of this. I imagine playing some 1v1s today as preparation, but first killer will score first. And I know these guys have both been playing 1v1 ranked because I have seen a ton of them playing against each other. I think Yan streamed at least on multiple occasions where he 1v1 back and forth with first killer a ton. And they, of course, traded matches back and forth. I wouldn't say either one of them dominated the series between the two, but we'll see how they play in an official best of seven setting. Yan tying it up one to one. We'll close the predictions. Probably still have a bit more time open. But it's fairly split, slightly in favor of Yan. When the stream started, chat was much more sure of Yan getting the win. He almost got to this save. Let me watch it again real quick. So I want to see just how close he got. First killer converting on a kickoff. Ooh, he was a couple of pixels away from doubling it off his own post to clear it. Yeah, not able to control his kickoff. First killer is trying to go for a tough read. How do he put it on target? I'm not sure Yan would have been able to make it back. Oh, but yeah, just backflipping in nets. Decides to pick the 100 boost up and wave dash. Maybe he's trying to steal it from first killer. You can see he's very clearly not making it play in the ball as he retreats back to that corner. Instead, just focusing on trying to starve first killer out. I guess he wasn't expecting an immediate shot, but I'm not sure why. He wouldn't expect that. Obviously, in retrospect, needs to make some sort of play on the ball to throw off first killer's double. Yan has an advantage now and wants to try and use it. That's why he single jumps as he gets his save. He doesn't want to get a full clear. He wants to try and control the ball because he has such a big boost advantage. But first killer's done a decent job of preventing him from easily gaining possession. He still has it now. A miss in the back corner because he's not playing on 100 boosts. At least not on the first take. But he'll steal first killer's corner and he's got first killer all starved out. I'm not sure what first killer is doing. Wave dashing towards the ball, but he actually gets away with it. He's able to just barely clear Yan's setup into the corner to make sure he doesn't get exposed on zero. Now his air dribble very wide of the net, but most importantly, doesn't give up possession. Yan off the back wall. A demo and a second goal should be free. A nice little turtle flick shot at the end to give it a little bit of flair. Yan, direct kickoff win. First killer not going to be able to stop it. That's what happens when a game starts off as low scoring as this one did. It seemed like first killer was in serious control of the match and just a couple things go Yan's way and we're perfectly tied up. And intentionally shifting up at the cadence of his shot, not taking it on the first bounce because he wants first killer to move out of the best position on defense and instead attack a, you know, a secondary setup as first killer looks to challenge the ball, but he's able to cover that attack and comes off the back wall to get a nice save to keep possession. A minute 40, first killer not gonna be allowed to get a freebie off the side wall. Yan has a tough read, but you know he hits those. First killer across the whole field. Yan says, I'll take that setup. 
And he has to play it fast, but that's never been a problem for Yan. The game lead, 4-3 with a minute 33 left to go. Elefante 3, thank you for the two months of Prime. First killer trying to do more than just steal the boost. He was hoping to undercut Yan as well. He wanted him to get a tough landing, steal boost, and then counter, but he couldn't do any of that because Yan landing all the way on the back wall as opposed to on the ground outside the corner. First killer is going to get a nice free possession here. Full field dribble. Yan's going to have to challenge late. Can first killer capitalize? He can't get the double as he sees Yan up in the air. He makes sure to get the touch that will play it around him, but couldn't follow up to turn it into a goal. A big boost grab for first killer has to use just about all of it to make the save on Yan's shots. Has the read this time. But he's stuck on zero boost. Yan is as well. As he tries to play back to midfield and hold on to possession, it's not going to be easy. First killer a bump into his back corner. Yan playing very aggressively here. Needing to just hold on for 30 more seconds. And now he's going to be playing defense on somewhat low boost. First killer decides to flick early and can't get the back corner. I'm not sure that was the right decision. He had Yan, who was playing overly aggressive, and then finally got a possession. I felt like making sure that first shot had a chance of going in was probably crucial, but he still has enough time that he'll get a save and a counterattack. Yan, you'd think, would want to play a safe style here, and maybe he felt like it was safe to go for that bump in net, but when he doesn't connect, first killer ties the game. First killer trying to set up a kick off to the left wall. Yan stops him from doing so. Has to box him out in order to prevent him from getting a shot attempt. Yan has actually controlled this in the air. So now he has a full tank dribble. He's stringing it down to the ground far away from the nets. So it should just be an easy save into the corner. Game one's going to be overtime between first killer and Yan. Wave dash kickoff for first killer. Trying to take an immediate shot. Did he catch Yan out of position? He didn't. Yan wanted the boost. A trade as old as time off the kickoff, whether you want possession or the 100. This time it went in favor of Yan, I would say. So he's going to have a chance to make a save. And now a possession with lots of space in front of him. He's up in the air long before first killer can approach him to challenge. The irritable bump is saved. Yan has some of the best irritable bumps in the game. But first killer knows that. These guys have played many times before and he was ready for it. Oh, the top of it. Look at this touch from first killer. This is a slim margin. It is not easy to get this kind of doink shot where he has to drive underneath the ball and perfectly tap it on target. There are lots of different versions of that shot that don't have enough speed to become a goal. But first killer found exactly what he needed to win game number one. Game number two. First killer and Yan neck and neck in the first five minutes of this series. Although there was definitely a couple different momentum swings. First killer out early and then had to recover after Yan controlled the majority of the game. First killer scores first. Ten seconds into game two. Ooh, we have a VIP coin flip redemption which we'll do after the series. If you guys haven't seen before on the channel, you can get channel points. What a shot from Yan. Sorry, we have to <laughs> we have to focus on this shot for a second, then we'll talk about VIP coin flips. But Yan seems so comfortable off the ceiling, just placing the ball all the way opposite first killer, who's up on the back wall to make a high save. So what does Yan do? Booms it to the bottom right. Ties the game. He should have another kickoff goal. But VIP coin flips, you can gain channel points by watching the stream or by guessing predictions correctly and if you want to get VIP it costs you 250,000 points a lot of points or you can go for coin flip with half the amount of points if you do not get your coin flip right you're banned as well as losing the points but if you do get it right you get a half price VIP so we'll be doing that after this series Yan Able to get a third, just forcing first killer into net, and then you don't need to do anything too crazy. Just need to make sure the ball is placed well. 
And I say not too crazy, but of course Yen, even though he didn't put any power on it, he put it perfectly crossbar down, which is easier said than done. Why would you risk getting banned? <laughs> For the glory. That's why. Yeah, to be fair, it is a two-week timeout. At some point, we might make it a full-on ban, but for now, it's just the maximum timeout, which is just two weeks. Yeah, and wall to air dribble. Gets the reset, uses it for a catch. I don't understand how first killer kept that ball from going in. Yan got it so close to the net. And low at the dead center. What was this shot? Wait, what the heck? I wish that it went in. I wanted to see it again. Is that a wave dash shot coming off the wall? Whatever it was. It absolutely booms the ball. Just a bit too high. Yan, ceiling reset. Is he going to get back to this one? He does. I wonder if this would have been a good time to zap dash as you land on the ground. Zap dashing into a flip probably gets you there even quicker. He's, he's going to be okay either way, but definitely a clear way. Save a replay? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll save it. I'll try and remember. I think it was before that goal. Yan, 6 1. After losing that overtime, he's coming back with a vengeance. A lot of it coming off of controlling kickoffs, but he's been so dangerous with those wall to air dribbles. You, you remember those few times first, or Yen went to the ceiling, boomed a couple different shots all the way to the opposite corner of first. So, of course, he's going to start creeping out in preparation to defend those air dribbles. So, what does Yen do? He catches it and cuts it behind him. Going for the 7 1 right now. First killer able to dive early. He's had enough of letting Yen play his game in the air, but he's going to be forced to let him this time. So he didn't have the boost to challenge early. Yeah, an interesting bump. He still gets punished for it, though. Maybe he felt that that was his last second attempt at getting a save, as opposed to prioritizing recovering. First killer getting the first possession off this kickoff for the first time in a while. He's going to take an air dribble from the back corner. Lost control of it. Didn't have the kind of boost to catch up to it, and it makes it so easy to read. Not only can he not catch up, but he also can't protect the ball as it lands on the ground, and yeah, it appropriately reads that as an easy opportunity. First killer, another bit of a back and forth on a kickoff, but it ultimately does give him a possession. Decides to make Yen look silly with a fake. Unfortunately, we're going to make Yen watch it again. First killer, the single jump to set up a flick. But the flick never arrives. First killer trying to chip to the back wall. Yen just... Snipes him off the map and wants to try and force First Killer into net. But First Killer got a great save all the way into the corner. Never a doubt that he was going to steal that 100 and push Yan back into the orange half. Long shot is not on target. What a pre-flip. This is actually a crazy attempt by First Killer. He tried to pre-flip and tap the ball with the top of his car as it came off the wall. And it would have launched maybe like a psycho. It honestly could have been a shot. It was going to be a monster clear if he got the connection he wanted. But whenever you go for those razor thin margin type shots, there's always a good chance you just whiff completely, which is what he did. And Yan extends the lead even more. I, I don't blame first killer. I think it's a good idea to go for these kind of home run plays because he needs a bit of magic down five. And letting the ball halfway through the net before making this save. First killer able to start a dribble from his own half uncontested. Yan is actually hanging out pretty shallow, not deep into the net. He's directly under the dribble, still is able to make a connection with the ball, and first killer wants to go next. It's GG's Yan winning game number two, confidently 9-3. We'll head to game three. Game number three. First killer and Yan. 
Yan has picked up some momentum and he wants to get right back to where he left off in game two. This is the gamble you have with forfeits. It can help the mental to get out of a game that's almost surely lost, but sometimes you allow. That's an insane save, by the way, <laughs> by First Killer, who read that long shot. But sometimes you can reset your own mental and get right back into series. Other times you stop the player when they're hot and put them right back into another game where they can stay on fire. Look at this shot from First Killer talking about being on fire. First Killer is just dancing with the ball in the air. The reset slams it to the ground outside the net for the double and ends up slotting it top shelf. Yan could not get the read. What a shot to put himself on the board. Yan wins a kickoff for a Walter Air Dribble, one that he plays off the ceiling. He wants to get involved in the doubles off the ground. And he does immediately. First killer getting a taste of his own medicine. I think he's known for these ground doubles. But he tried to pre-jump the first bounce and couldn't correct to the bottom left placement of Yan. Yan recognizing just in time that he needed to get in front of the net and not go for the boost. First killer wins a midfield 50 and will be able to tie the game. Wave dash kickoff for first killer. Bit of a slow one, but still able to get the dash. I think that helps him fight through the bump of Yan. Low 50 over the top, so it'll be a reset from first killer. Is this the kind of bounce that he can control out of the corner? You don't want to get a ton of separation off the wall because you're forced as that defender to use a load of boost just to get back and protect it. But that being said, first killer is eventually going to score here. As these two vie for possession, First Killer did have to use almost the majority of his tank just to get back to the ball, but neither one of them could control it. So First Killer will bump to take the lead. Dan set up to the back wall, helped by First Killer. Gonna be able to have an easy double. First killer really needs to stop the bleeding on the kickoffs. I don't know if that's when he adjusted to the wave dash kickoff. But it seems to be doing better for him this game. Still a majority of them have gone to Yen. First killer just not the best take. Putting himself far out of position with no boost. Back to the standard kickoff goes first killer. Yan should have this save, but he's going to be in nets. Low speed. First killer should be able to take the ball right back from him. Pre flip from Yan as the last ditch effort gets the save and a big clear. Likely going to result in first killer possession, but both of these two resetting on boost. First killer laying into his back corner. What a pre jump from Yan. Ceiling reset. He doesn't quite have enough boost to get back to this one. Yan and the ceiling are best friends in this match. A double off the back wall to the top right, Yan! First killer driving around in desperation to have enough pads to work with for this save. And even though he got 41, there's not much you could do. When Yen has that much movement in his shot, he's threatening every part of the net all the way through the setup before finally dropping it behind you. First killer, use of the empty jump to get down to the ground quickly. Enables him to pop the ball over the top of Yen. Both these two sticking around midfield, buying for first touch. Yan concedes, says I'll take the possession in the back corner instead. Now has another dribble, 
Gonna have to try and 50 this one as he falls a bit far away from the ball. Rose Killer, can he make some magic happen off the top corner? That would have been an impressive read. He does eventually score. It would have been an unbelievable shot had it gone directly in, but still not an easy read to make when you launch the ball to that top corner of the arena. Rose Killer follows it up. Tie up the game. Yan was threatening to run away with this one. Horse Killer hangs around. Soft shot from Yen will be saved. Not enough to get boost, but First Killer actually gets the ball past. He's floating, desperately wanting to get to the ground because he could just a little bit faster. He'd be able to convert for a goal. Yan almost just left the ball easy for First. First, quick camera checks. See if Yan is chasing him down. And this is another one of those positions that it can be hard to control the ball meaningfully. You have to take a dribble off the back wall, and so often it leads to the opponent with a possession. You can't afford to let the ball come to the ground because it's too hard to protect in situations like that. It'll be air dribble bump for Yan. He will tie the game. First killer able to stop the first air dribble bump, but not this one. Fifty seconds on the clock. Yan! A razor thin margin save. As he pushes it off the crossbar. First killer, a dribble against the low boost. Yan, the 50 is in! And they pinch it into the top left. First killer knows how to punish a Yan who has no boost to work with. He has one pad. Tries to make the late save. Use the crossbar to help, but the collective of all three of them just slam the ball into the corner. First killer. Camera check in to see where Yan is at. He's going to be in a tough position here if he doesn't grab this boost, but he does. So now Yan, another low boost possession in his net. First killer lobs the ball high, fakes, wanted Yan to go flying past there, but Yan just barely connects. Oh my goodness, Yan is not backing down with zero boost. Is it going to pay off? Seemed like it might have there for a moment, but it is control for first killer. Yan finally resets on 100, and the cadence of the setup makes Yan believe that he can challenge. First killer doesn't take it immediately off the wall. He reverses, and that pulls Yan in, and he chips it right over the top of him, wasting the few extra seconds as well on the goal line. First killer wants to leave as little amount of time as possible for Yan to come back, but it doesn't matter. Yan doesn't need more than three seconds. In fact, he could have had even less because this ball does not touch the ground. He slams it into the kickoff straight into the nets. Tie game with one second left to go. Like I said, Yen didn't need more than a second previously, so one of these two could score. First killer, the slight delay. It's on target. It's in. No overtime. If you want an overtime, you have been betrayed. First killer, the slight delay. I love the cheekiness in a kickoff. He needs to win. And he's able to take the lead in the series 2-1. to one. First killer's up as we head to game number four. Game number four. First killer and Yan has lived up to the hype you'd expect from it. Already, first killer able to get more games than he did the previous time he played Yan. That one ended 3-1. First killer up 2-1, but this is the best of seven. Two more wins to get. And he's far from secured the win so far. Look at this musty. Is he going to get the double first killer? He's feeling good right now. All the way from his back wall off the ceiling. The musty double is so clean. 25 seconds in, even Yan has to give him the nice one. First killer wants to add to it with a kickoff. The two-pointer of 1v1. He still has an opportunity because he's holding on to this possession. Off the kickoff, uses the flip to get over the top of the early challenge from Yan. Something he's done multiple times in this series, but he hasn't been able to stick with it and convert for a goal, which implies 
good positioning from Yen on defense in order to not make that possible. Pass to himself off the wall. A boomer of a shot. Crossbar down to himself, but Yen is recovered. So close to being unsavable. The level that we are seeing from these two right now is truly insane. Yen, is he going to make some more magic happen off the ceiling? I thought Yan was the one who was the master of the ceiling in this series, but first killer maybe hit the best one so far. Yan, slowing the game down for the first time in a minute or so, recognizing that a change up in pace is probably what he needs to break through. Air dribble bump! Maybe it's just air dribble bumps. Maybe all you need is all reliable. And Yen is one of the best at it. First killer got past the first one. But since then, Yen's irritable bumps have been effective. Yen staying on the ball. First killer deciding to play passively because he expects the shot to be easily savable because Yen is low on boost. And then he can get a boost advantage and control possession as well. Right now he has the boost advantage. He expects to get the possession again soon because Yen low on boost we'll have to give the ball away and head to midfield first killer a double off the ceiling Yen actually intercepts it and now gets a possession of his own he sees first killer going wide on the retreat and looks to punish and he does first killer misses you guys see my US West connection had first killer registering a hit there but the US East server didn't see it he tried to get the touch and the wave dash onto the wall so he could quickly set up another touch. That's often the trade-off that these top players make. Every once in a while, you will just whiff because you tried to greet out a bit too much. Two-two, first killer dunks Yan on another kickoff to put himself in the lead. Kickoff goals can so often be the difference in a close game like this. Either one of these two are, you know, exclusively relying on them as they've been fairly even in plays from the midfield. But each game's difference might end up being just a couple different kickoffs, which I think First Killer has at least two now. Another case of Yan changing the pace of his attack. Instead of slamming the ball immediately into First Killer while he still has momentum, very intentionally stops behind the ball, slows down, and waits until first killer comes to a complete stop. Once he has, it's basically impossible to react to Yan's shot in time. So he then slams it into the bottom right. Full field dribble from the back wall. Yan just barely not able to score it, and first killer is too good not to convert a counterattack like this. Killer trying to convert this into a kickoff win, but it's actually a tough position to play from. And he converts it though. The backflip shot. Trying to make something happen deep on the back wall of the opponent when Yan had a hunter boost that he was able to get at the midfield. It comes down to that touch that Yan was expecting to get. You can see he came off the wall and was hoping to chip the ball out towards midfield, but he just missed. And first killer takes advantage of the mistake. Yen, immediate power shot is actually slightly off target. Does he have the read? No way! Th this is absurd to me. Maybe because I can never read the post, but first, he knew right away. As soon as he shot before it was anywhere close to the post, he's like, yep, I know exactly where that's going. And maybe that's nothing to you guys, but that post is hard to read. And Yen's second nature went right for it. Because if he misses too, if he doesn't get the right read, he might be allowing first killer to score an easy one. But it's tied up now, courtesy of a kickoff goal. Yen out of the back corner, the bump with the last bit of boost he has. Did first killer almost get back? First killer wanted to stop the air dribble bump. What a setup from Yen too. 
to use his flip to stop the, the ball from falling in order to get that dribble going. 6-5 Yen, not the best setup. These players are always trying to roll that into the wall, a position where they can, of course, grab the boost as they drive through. Never want to have to stop in reverse to grab it. First killer, be patient with his attack. Little camera check to see how Yan is moving in net. He's going to retreat all the way back to his net now. He knows Yan is somewhat low on boost. Wasn't able to prevent Yan from stealing his back corner, though. Long shot is going to put Yan in a tough spot. First killer wanted to demo him. Couldn't catch up in time. Yan save off his own crossbar. The counterattack is perfect. Yan never worried for a second. Gets exactly the save he needs, and first killer is just naturally pulling himself towards the net. Pull, uh, on offense, he's moving in because he's expecting to have an opportunity there after what was really a great setup shot that should have been putting the defender in an awkward position that he could follow up, but no, Yan is never awkward in any position. He's not going to be able to follow up this ground double. First killer needs some surprising power if he wants to get past Yan. He doesn't find it, so it should just be a Yan win in game number four to tie the series two to two. 21 seconds. I mean, we saw Yan score with about two seconds, so of course it is still possible, and first killer is going to try and remind everybody of that as he scores an immediate kickoff goal. It only took him a small portion of the time he has left. Yan. Air dribble reset. One to kick off. Doesn't need to shoot with it. Just needs to play a bit of keep away. Actually didn't do a great job keeping it away late. So first killer could have put himself within one, but not before the timer was at zero. Tie series as we head to game five. Game number five. First killer and Yan. Has there been a single game? I guess one. Was it game number two that first killer forfeit because Yan had got up 6-1 and then maintained that lead? Other than that, all of these games have been nail biters. First killer has one the first goal of the past few. If there's any game mode, though, where scoring first doesn't matter quite as much, it's definitely 1v1. I'm sure in twos and threes, or especially threes, scoring the first goal probably has 80, 90% correlation to winning the game. Dan, tough angle. But he definitely could have hit it to tie it up. First killer trying to counter quickly. And he also had a tough angle off the back wall double. But he could have hit it. And the way these guys are playing, we've almost expected them to hit these two. Yan, overliable. It does not work. The ball falls too far. And first killer is able to land and make a save low. Airgeable 50 for Yan to tie it up. Jomar, thank you for the tier 1 for 23 months. What a way to treat you with your 23 month anniversary. Yeah, I did it just for you. I knew it was your 23 month anniversary. I wanted to make it special for you. First killer. Wants to stay on the ball. Not going to have an easy time doing that. He's able to force this 50 up to the back wall. Again, really strong touch. Means going to allow first killer to intercept first killer being a pest but I imagine he will retreat now resets on the midfield hundred and just could never get to the right position I don't think he wanted to shadow close but Yam was playing too quickly for him to be able to put any distance between the two so then he ultimately felt like he just had to challenge because he couldn't get the safe distance Yam pops it over the top of him First, probably wanted a bump on Yen. That was the only way that was going to score after that touch. Really like how First Killer's been 50ing around the net. Not rushing. 
knows to back off the ball and make sure that he can get it over the top of Yan's car instead of trying to fight through it. And a few different times now, he's been able to convert that for goals. Coding Campbell, maybe the five months of Prime. Crazy series. Yeah, crazy series indeed. Here's another kickoff goal. Yo, Keeban, thank you for the $10. It's not much, but buy yourself a coffee. Will do. Appreciate that. First killer. Wave dash. Tap the ball right at Yan. Decides he doesn't want to leave. He's had a tough time stopping Yan whenever he's given him any sort of space. So I wonder if that ran through his head right as he started to flip away. Wait a second. I haven't been getting away with this. I need to turn back and challenge, but that doesn't work either. As he had already, I think, committed too far to the retreat. Makes his turn and challenge, but easy to read. Yeah, and just low 50s it. Long shot for first killer. He's done a decent job of pinning Yan back, but he's not going to be able to do it this time. First killer, I mean, Yan doesn't even need much boost to work with at all. I guess he has 56. He used a ton of it to try and get that bump. But he not, didn't really need to. First killer deciding to make a play on the ball without any boost to work with. Thinks better of it almost immediately as he heads back to the corner. Yeah, and both the dribble, the setup turns into a nice pogo bump a pretty effective way to hedge his bets on that shot that was certainly not going in and he maintains possession first killer fights to the ball but cannot get to it Yan just plays keep away by inches he's able to tap it on net as it comes to the ground Yan fake kickoff gets himself a free possession from the back corner look at the movement from Yan Moving behind the ball, threatening just about everywhere on the net. First killer trying to get that read, but he actually flips. He, he's threatening that back corner where first killer is, but he flips underneath the ball to get a touch on that opposite, you know, of the center of mass to put it far right. It's just such an impressive last second adjustment to make it so that first killer does not get the save. He's not going to be able to follow up this kickoff goal, though. Six four first killer has been able to make up these kind of deficits in earlier games in this series. Very interesting. Fifty couldn't beat Yan in the race to the boost, and since he used up a ton of his own in order to try and get it, he's going to have to leave now. I don't think he had to try and beat Yan. So he gets another save on the air dribble bump. Something we haven't seen in a while. I guess we saw that low save, but first time we've seen him save one high. Yan chasing first killer off the ball. Don't know if he did enough though. First killer taps it over him. Wants to close the distance between himself and Yan to make sure that Yan cannot comfortably gain possession. When somebody in ones has the ball but they're all the way on the back wall or within a couple yards of the back wall, it isn't easy to convert it into offense as long as there's a defender waiting just outside to prevent you from making any sort of strong touch. So first killer rushed to make sure Yan felt the pressure and eventually converts for a goal. 55 seconds, he's slowly working it back. Can he tie it up here? Air dribble bump himself? No, he got a last second touch. And that pushes the ball into Yan. I wonder if he would have been better off not touching the ball. Forty-two seconds, still enough time to get two. Just slightly slows him down. The process of trying to come back here against Yan. Yan, a carry and a flick. Great use of his lead to extend it even more. First killer's not in a position where a dribble this slow, he can't afford to sit and wait. He can't shadow it and let Yan crawl all the way down the field. Before making a save, he has to turn. He has to stop Yan from wasting that much time. 
And Yan knows it. So he just pops it over him to secure this game five, which is going to be a 3-2 lead for Yan. I say that, but I guess technically if First Killer scores this, he could follow it up with an air. Okay. Maybe he could have two kickoffs in 11 seconds, but it is probably a Yan series lead. This might be one of the two. No, he missed wide. So that'll do it. Yan, yeah, one win away. First killer's going to need two straights if he wants to win the series. Certainly he's capable because so far every single game has gone either way. Gamer6, it's free, yo. Thank you for the prime. What an apt name considering priming is free, yo. First killer has scored first a ton in the series so far. Almost had a miraculous shot. He's going to double bump Yan and will convert for the first goal yet again. I mentioned on Twitter as context for this game, the last NA Grand Final included complexity and Gen G, so there's a lot of talk about the fact that there's only one original North American in there. But there's an opportunity for the North Americans to take a little bit of ground back today if they can win against Furia, because we have First Killer versus Yan, and then afterwards we're going to have Chronic versus Lost. Right now it's looking like another win for Sam. First Killer can't clutch up, but he has been known to clutch up in the past. It's never a great idea to bet against him. Maybe only against the likes of somebody like Yan. Up 1-0. He has Yan retreating to Nets. Look at the placements and the power. Everything you could ever want. And it's not an easy catch either. This is a high-speed catch and setup. 100 kilometer per hour shot. But we see Yan start to mix up the kickoffs a bit more. The first killer continues to extend the lead. We saw him using the delay kickoff at some points earlier in the series. Yan, he loves the ceiling, that's for sure. What a save from first killer. It's back in time. If he had gotten a softer touch here, he might have been able to set up a hook shot that Yan couldn't get to. Instead, he looks to play the boost game. As he steals all the available for Yan. 50 across the net. Does get Yan at least a little bit. But he has to use it to make it clear. First killer flicks around. Zero boost shot is in. And it's a 3-0 lead. Yan. Air dribble bump. First killer ready for it. Make the air dribble bump tally back in first killer's favor. I think it's at the very least even now. First killer might even have a couple more saves than Yen has scored. But I believe it's probably just about dead even. First killer. Another kickoff goal. 4-1. Still not the kind of lead that first killer fans can rest easy with. These two are more than capable of popping off for three straight. Yeah, and very interesting setup off the ceiling. Ultimately, doesn't get a great shot out of it. Long shot now from Yan. Slightly off target. I know we'd have the perfect read if it were to hit the post, but it is... Off the backboard, first killer controls. Strong touch, wants the demo. Can't connect, but he's forcing Yan to play a little bit more awkwardly on his back wall. Yan certainly saw the bumps coming and was dodging around them. Yan, soft flick, first killer has a ton of boost to work with and he actually just slams it right back at first killer 
Not a position you'd think would be available, but he sees first killer's landing and expects to be able to score just by slamming it right at there. Honestly, that might be just all he could do. I don't know if he could have got around the ball to shoot it any farther in field. But first killer is certainly prepping in net as if it were possible. First killer strong shot off the wall, looking to steal the corner and keep Yan pinned. He's done many times. Quick touch off of the side wall. Just a bit too fast, actually. Talked about it before, but it's almost best in 1v1. This is a great ceiling pinch on target. And a fifth goal. First killer pogos for a celebration as well. Great shot. Goes in at 60 kilometers per hour, but what really matters is Yen can get back to it. I was about to say, it's almost better to not go top speed in 1v1 when you're trying to pin a defender back. You need to time the swings across the field such that you're stealing the corner every time and not driving past it, leaving it available for the opponent to grab. First killer in the back corner. The reset, Yan! Decided to commit to this dribble right at that moment. That's why it looks so free. Yan, just reacting late, really. Maybe just not hoping, or hoping for first killer not to be able to hit that. A minute away from game seven. Yan has no interest in that happening. Converts on this kickoff. And might have another now. Two away. First killer really switch up his to stop the bleeding. We saw him in dire moments tied late in the game. Go for that delay. We've also seen him bring out the wave dash. And things haven't been going his way. Looks like Yan matches him, but possession does go to first killer. First killer patiently waiting. He says, no way you can bring this to net, right? And he's correct. As he just lets Yan fall to the ground. Ever so rarely, players actually do prove that they can take it to the net off the back of four or five resets, which is basically what you need for a dribble that sets up like that. I used to say Yan can't do that. 20 seconds left to go. Yan needs one and needs one soon in order to set up a follow-up kickoff goal to tie it. First killer has really no need to rush here. Wow. I'm actually a bit surprised he went for this one. Seems like you could just back off and secure the game for sure. Whereas trying to get this read could be tough if Yen makes the save, but first killer drops it down underneath him. Confidence in his offense. Confident that he can send this to game seven. Kickoff goal is saved. It's not going to matter. $200 1v1 between two of the region's best as we head to game seven. Game seven, first killer versus Yan. What else could you ask for? First killer trying to redeem his loss in the World Cup. Just needs to do what he did in the previous game, but almost every single game, I, I just keep mentioning it because it kept happening. First killer scored first in almost all of them. Yan will be the one to have the edge this time around. Just a soft flick. That first killer couldn't react to in time. Yan can't follow up this kickoff possession. First killer able to break it up, but he is still going to have to deal with Yan on offense first. Yan trying to catch first killer out as he approached him by slamming one over the top. But first killer had not gone all in. So he gets back to make the clear and now has control. Yan and Net on low boost. That was actually an impressive pop-up by First Killer. It will go mostly unnoticed as he bumps and scores this. But it's not an easy landing on the, on the corner like that. I think this replay is already past the moment that I'm talking about. But a perfect pop, an instant landing on the wall. Great adjustment by First Killer. Those are the kind of mechanics that make you a great player that nobody's going to notice or, or not nobody but it's going to be less noticeable 
Yeah, but first killer is the kind of guy that gets brought up a lot when somebody talks about being the most mechanical without, you know, just hitting 90 flip resets because obviously everybody understands that to be mechanical. First killer's speed. And a lot of that has to do with those kind of recoveries. That's what makes him so mechanical. First killer going for the pinch. Also could have tried to creep out to the midfield to grab the 100, but he wanted the glory. And players are certainly hitting those pinches consistently nowadays. I'd say Moxie has the best one that I can think of. I think Moxie hits those regularly. Certainly other players have, but just about nobody who goes for a pinch am I thinking, yeah, that'll, that's, that'll probably hit. That'll probably be on. You know, usually it's like, they might get lucky and it, and it might work. I'd say Moxie's one of the only people. That's a great save off the crossbar. Who, when he sets it up, I'm thinking that will be on target. It's just about whether or not somebody's there to save it. Does Alpha 54 have good pinches as well? I haven't seen Alpha 54 in ones in a while. But you get a lot more opportunities to set those up. First killer. Off the wall, shot to the top left. Just great placement on a reset. Yeah, and had boost to work with the net. Thought about going for the ceiling challenge before heading down to the ground. And I think that's that indecision is what makes it look like he never really has a chance to stop that. If he doesn't take the trip up the back wall and just looks to play defense from low, he probably gets a much better challenge on the ball. 3-2 lead for first killer, Yan. Reset so deadly. He can just threaten it all. Push you back into your nets. First killer waits it out and still can't get the save as the wave dash launches past him. Yan, Walt air dribble, ceiling reset. Not even an air dribble at all, actually. <laughs> just about... The only touch was the shot. First killer, what a counterattack. Is this in? Oh my goodness, forced an insane save out of Yen. He tried to follow it up. Actually, a bit of a dangerous follow up because he slams that right to Yen. Yen can get a long shot on target. But it's not what happened. Ooh, slight bump. That'll convert his goal. 4 3. Yen has been a mixed bag when. Forced to play low boost defense in his own half. Sometimes he's surprised first killer. Other times the speed of first killer with boost has been too much. Air dribble from Yan. The bump connects. It's been shifts of momentum with the air dribble bumps. First killer got the first save. Then Yan had a few in a row. I would say before this one, first killer had actually had two or three, maybe even four saves on the air dribble bumps, but game seven, when it matters most, Yan connects. Nice play from Yan. Threatening every which way. And right as first killer comes to challenge, getting around the ball and slamming it past. Big kickoff again. We've seen that twice in a row for Yan on the diagonals. And it's worked well. First killer just accidentally set him up with a great setup. Yan off the ceiling. First killer pre-jumps. Is able to cover the lack of touch. Now he's got himself a full field and a retreating Yan. Little camera check to see if Yan is coming to challenge early. Notices that he isn't. Air dribble bump himself. The ball gets stopped. And Yan recovers on the back wall. First killer. Can he stop this counterattack? He can't. I feel like there's a world in which he lands slightly better on this recovery after touching the ball. Yeah, I couldn't really see it behind the ball. But you see he turned out towards the right on his landing. I, th I think there's a world in which he gets to save if he lands it a bit better. Down two for the minute 30. First killer is going to have a great position here. Yan retreating. Yeah, demo. And now first killer setting up his offense to fake hook shots. Should be a goal. Yeah, and recovers. Oh my goodness, it was close. First killer. Within one with a minute 11.
as Yen in a tough spot. Gonna launch the ball immediately to the back wall and double it! Yen doesn't have the boost! First killer has a pad while Yen... Actually, I mean, I guess they both have the right amount. It's just that first killer has a much better angle to attack. A minute left to go. Tie game. This chat is pointing out the script writers wrote us a good one today. Yan forcing first killer out of the nets. Not a lot of boosts to work with. Has controlled the possession. What a read from first killer. Certainly a risk to pre-jump off the wall, but intercepts exactly where Yan placed it. Can't make anything happen out of Yan's corner. Boost grab in the midfield. Yan, that is going to be a goal on his nets. You can't afford to take a shot like that. Anything that isn't a perfectly placed boomer in a match like this is getting you scored on. And first killer, credit to him for stealing that boost, faking at the midfield to set up that shot from Yan. 30 seconds, Yan bumps. Able to grab 100, so he's in a decent position to score here and tie the game. Brings the ball to the ground, flicks over the top of first killer and ties it up. Clutch from him. First killer creeps just a bit too far into net and leaves a window to go over the top of him behind. 22 seconds, any mix up from the kickoff. Wave dash kickoff for first killer. As a great possession now, Yen and Net doesn't want to challenge. You can see how tentative these guys are late in the game, but that favors first killer who reads the last second speed up from Yen, they almost came to a full stop. Yen has been so clutch when he needs a goal though on kickoff. Wave dash kickoff from first killer. Tries to bump Yen but doesn't succeed. Yen misses his touch off the wall. He might have needed that. He's recovered quickly to make a play. First killer intercepts. Yen did need that touch. It's a GG's first killer wins in game seven by one in one of the best 1v1s I've seen in a while.